In this video, we're going to be discussing the first of the major superficial reflexes, and that is the abdominal reflex, which looks at the integrity of nerve roots between the levels of T8 and L1. And because this is a reflex that operates through the spinal cord, this reflex helps us determine the integrity of both the sensory and motor components of those nerve roots. To assess for the presence of the abdominal reflex, the patient will be positioned in supine, and you'll obviously have to lift their shirt up to expose their umbilicus and the regions of skin around it. The PT is going to scrape the end of a reflex hammer along the four quadrants at each corner of the umbilicus, and so each of those dotted lines represents one of those four quadrants and actually the path that you scrape the reflex hammer along. So as you can see here, it doesn't actually matter if you go clockwise or counterclockwise. In this first quadrant up here, you can go this way, or you can go this way. It doesn't matter. Then you're going to move on to one of the other quadrants, this way or this way. And you'll assess all four of them. And while you're scraping those four quadrants, you're going to monitor for abdominal muscle contraction and any movement or deviation of the umbilicus. And so how do you determine if the reflex is present or absent? The abdominal reflex is considered present when you get contraction of the abdominal muscles with the umbilicus deviating towards the direction of the original stimulus. So for example, if you scraped right here in this quadrant, either this way or this way, you should see the abdominal muscles in this vicinity right here contracting, and you may see the umbilicus very slightly deviate toward where you were scraping the reflex hammer. If we went over here and scraped this way, or this way, again, it doesn't matter if it's clockwise or counterclockwise, we should see the abdominal muscles contracting in this vicinity right here, with maybe a slight deviation of the umbilicus in that direction. The abdominal muscles are going to be a lot more apparent than the umbilical deviation. Now, obviously, if somebody has a lot of central adiposity, in other words, belly fat, it's going to be difficult to visualize the abdominal muscles contraction. So you may need to palpate in that vicinity in order to feel those abdominal muscles contract. Here's a look at the abdominal reflex in real time. Notice that for whichever quadrant is being scraped, that's the same quadrant where the abdominal muscles are contracting. Thank you for all your support. Be sure to check out my Instagram for cool science and not science stuff.